Okay, so I'm going to show you these and then I'm going to show you how to start a lanyard just in case. Okay. If, and if my mom talks, it's a mess of my video. Okay, so this is one I've been using for YouTube. This is one that I used, like, when I put the braids on. If you don't remember, it's just, you know. And if you didn't watch it, it's on YouTube. Probably. Then I have these two. This is my first one. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a lanyard, just, or start one. So, I've cut my pieces already. Sorry. I'll give you a minute. If you want to do that, or... How about I just keep going, and you can pause it if you're still trying to get it. Okay. So I have the, um, pieces, um... And, um... I have orange and white, and, um, you don't have to use these pieces. So what I'm going to do is going to find the center of my white one. Plus the, these two pieces should be even. And don't make it um, the same color, really, because, you know, it's going to be hard, and it's going to be hard to tell which is which. And you probably will mess up. Why I use a pen, pen is because if you're a beginner at this, you're probably, it's going to be harder to do it with a finger. I can do it with a finger. I just um, thought it might be easier if we did it with a pen for the beginners. Okay, for the white, I'm going to find the center, and I made a loop, and then um, I put it on the pen, and it, then I made two. Um, watch me do that one more time. Okay. So I found it center. Okay, hold on. I want it to make try to make it as even as possible. Now it should look, see that little loop when I make it? It should look, yeah. It should, I'm gonna make it a loop so it can be easier. Okay, so then I'm gonna have it like that, okay. I'm gonna pull it, if you can't see it, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna pull it up closer because it's easier for me to see. I'll show it to you in a second. So I made two loops. I'm sorry, I just... I know what kind of look that. Okay, so, um, then I take the orange. Oops. And I run it through the two. I don't put it over, or over anything until it gets to its center. Kind of want to make it really even because if it's not even, then the box is kind of going to be messed up. So mine's good. Then I'm going to take the one that's pointing here. Okay? We should come look like that. Okay. This white reminds me of ch cheese cream. Or whatever it is. Okay, so it kind of should look like that. So I'm going to take the one that's pointing the tip, the ball tip. 
and I'm going to take it and put it over and through it. Okay, this is one of the steps that should be a little bit of practice. So I take it off your pen, and I'm going to pull it very gently, and it's going to look kind of like this. And kind of be gentle when you first pull it, because then it's going to tear it all up, because that, that's how I mess mine up sometimes. Okay, um, pull it tight when you, or, you know. Um, so, this is what it should look like. A checkerboard, sort of. The back, um, is, sh if you can make it look checkerboard, great I can't really but um this is how I always start mine this is how my dad started it and um um but this is just uh, another starting just because it's really hard for beginners and I don't want you to mess it up and start messing up your whole box um but thank you for watching I hope this was fun, and, um, you might want to know my name, because I haven't told you that, Maria, and, uh, I'm, I hope you like what I do with you, and I hope you think some stuff what I say is funny, and, um, please subscribe to this video, thank you, or to all my videos that you like a lot. If you like my videos a lot, you can um, press like. And um, if you don't like, then you don't have to. It's okay. Um, but I hope you like it. Thank you.